Welcome to Sergal! Hello guys, this is AJ. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently here in the Iyadam Terminal 4 uh, off to Shargao. Solo travel again. Um, ayun, 12.15 pa yung flight. Ay, yung boarding ko. It's almost 12. 11.45 a.m. And another solo travel. And yeah. Saka ng Terminal 4, no? Sana maisipan nilang baguhin. Pero at least better na yung mga food choices compared before when I had my first solo travel in Iloilo. So, I'm finally here in Sargao. Medyo gloomy na hindi yung weather. Doon mo lang kasi basa yung Okay, so when you leave the airport, as in Jan's exit, meron kang babayaran na 20 pesos for the garbage fee. <laughs> so, hindi ko alam. Basta 20 lang naman. So, ayan. Anyway, let's start the day here in Sargao. Kahit hapon na. Mazawa Sharga. Grabe. Sin every travel, lagi akong may tempo. Tapos dito pa talaga. Tanggap ko na yun dito eh. Mas okay na eh. Pero dito, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> Pero anyway, hindi na naman wet look. So kung kailan malapit na ako, or malapit na kami, kasi guys, I, um, ang binok ko kasi na transport from the airport is motor um, kahit na eh maliit lang naman yung maleta ko so parang karga-karga ko lang siya but it's fine tapos ayun so good thing kasi nga naka-drop by pa ako nung yung famous na coconut trees na marami tapos yung yung view deck ng coconut trees din so magpupong ko view deck I think so Yun, naka, nakadaan pa ako doon, nakakuha pa ako ng mga pictures and videos bago dumiretso dito. Tapos kung kailan malapit na, tsaka biglang umulan. Nag-stop pa kami ni Kuya Al kasi um, sobrang lakas ng ulan kanina. Tapos nagpatila lang kami ng very light. Anyway, si Kuya Al pala, pinsan nung originally na binok ko, si Kuya John Ray. So lalagay ko yung mga Facebook names nila dito. Kung gusto niyo sila, kontakin if you're planning to go here in Siargao. Yan, ito na lang. So, going back. So, nung malapit na kami, as in, nasa town proper na kami ng General Luna, dun na kami inabot ng sobrang lakas na ulan. Tapos, anyway, I'm here in Mazawa. Very, um, what do you call this? Homey feel na homestay. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung labas. And, yan. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Mayroon common, um, tawag dito, common dining area, pwede kayo magluto and all, tapos merong mga common, other common areas na tambayan kasi may mga benches tapos parang mga ganito lang yung mga rooms nila um, so quick room tour na din, so ayan yung labasan, just doors and curtain, and then here's the bed ayan. and then tapos meron kayong table and then meron kayong basket dyan pwede na sigurong laundry stuff and then merong mini shelf cabinet or storage and then may aircon naman and then here's the CR hey yay so may bidet yan so yun yung CR 
Um, so, may shower, may heater siya, and then the toilet, and then the bidet, pero may balde din sila, which is good. So, actually, hindi ko kasi sure kung may bidet talaga dito. So, I'm happy na meron. Kasi, as a lactose intolerant, pag inatake ako ng LI ko, I really need a bidet. So, anyway, medyo tumila naman na, I think, yung ulan. Siguro magko-quick shower lang ako, and then... Well, settle my things, quick shower, then rest for a bit, and then maya-maya, mag-iikot na rin siguro. So it's 4.43pm here, and yeah, can't wait. Not sure if you can hear it, pero sobrang lakas ng ulan. Sana mamaya tumigil na para makakain or makainom. Plan ko sana pagdating dito is mag-shower and then mag-ikot-ikot. However, ang lakas ng ulan, hindi ko sure kung naririnig nyo, pero unfortunately, yeah. Pero sana, yung buhos ng ulan ngayon, ngayon na lang. Sana bukas at sa mga susunod na araw, super okay yung weather para matuloy yung mga tour. Cause if not, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Lord, give me a good weather please. Pasensyang at madilim. <laughs> Wala masyadong ilaw sa kalsada. So it's 7.45pm. I'm walking to the town proper to look for something to eat because I haven't had my dinner yet. So, at maraming, maraming stars. So that's a good indication for pretty much a good weather hopefully so again sorry guys if madilim but yeah I'm gonna see you guys later kasi na ako kakain bye so good morning day 2 here in Siargao um medyo gising na ako kanina start to prep uh today so hotan daw yung unahin sabi ni Kuya John Ray so ayun um all, last night uh, I went to Bravo dun ako nag dinner isa yun sa mga nasa listahan ko to visit na mga food places here in Siargao um I ordered the peri peri chicken thigh na may coleslaw and corn um, okay naman siya pero a bit dry lang siguro yung chicken um, tapos wala pa masyadong parang hindi siya ganun ka seasoned well pero may may anghang siya so kahit pa paano nakadagdag naman ng lasa yung anghang niya pero for me parang naglak lang siya ng konting taste pa I mean, saka dry kasi yung manok masyado. So, ayun. Pero ang daming calls. So, hindi naman ako kumakain ng gulay. But anyway, siguro I would rate the food uh, 7.5. 7, 7.5. Ganyan. Over 10. So, we're currently here at the park. Dito kami. Sasakay ng bangka. Papunta ng Sohotong. As you can see. Beside the, the park public market so, uh, yung building na yan it's the coast guard so good thank you lord for the good weather sana continuous to until makabalik ako ng manila anyway let's enjoy so hot on I'm currently here in so my docking area. You have to register the tourist desk. If you want to rent a smart car, 150. Uh, may 150, may 200. Plus, they also have a phone case for 150. But they have this. Yeah.
pagkabukan okay. So, yan lang yung pwedeng isang entrance exit Pero look at what's inside And I'm back inside my room. It was really, really fun. I met few people. Um, the two French sisters, si Jem na Tagarizal, tapos the couple, one is a French Filipina and the guy is a Swedish guy. So, naging photographer. <laughs> no mga tao kasi, thank God I brought my what do you call this? My diving case. Um, napakita ka na to sa El Nido. Ito guys. Ay, may plastic. Pero ito yan. Yan. Itong diving case. This case saved us all sa Suhoton. So when we left the pa, maaraw, when we arrived, or ar arriving pa lang kami ng Suhoton, it was already raining really hard. Tapos, as in, parang hati yung weather. Tapos, good thing, kasi medyo nag-calm down naman. Habang nandun kami, nag-calm down siya. Medyo tumirik naman yung araw. But it, it was fun. It was, it was really, really fun. Yung, um, although sad lang, kasi yung sa jellyfish, mga maliliit pa yung jellyfish. So, wala pa masyadong makita. Tapos, yung, anong tawag doon? Nakalimutan ko yung, ano, Basta nabanggit ko yun sa clip. <laughs> yung lulusong sa ilalim. It's amazing nung ano, nung feels dun sa loob. Tapos, the last one, yung kailangan mag parang cliff jumping in a way. It was really, 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 really fun. And sobrang thankful ako kasi sobrang ganda ng weather kahit pa paano. We left so hot on na hindi na maulan. So... Ayun, hanggang pagdating dito, hindi na rin maulan. Now, I'm... <laughs> Nanginginig ako sa lamig. <laughs> o, naka... Nakatrangas pa ako. Pero, ayun, mag-shower lang ako yun ng bit. Uh, meron akong friend all the way from Manila, from Makati pa, sa may area namin, na hindi ko alam na dito na pala siya nakatera. So, nag-message sa akin. So, we're about to meet. After ko mag-shower, sunduin niya ako dito. And then, we'll have dinner and catch up. Guys, it's really a must. Mas pinili ko yung Sohoton over the land tour. Wala talaga akong land tour na binok. Um, so, sabi kasi nila, worth it daw talaga yung Sohoton. So, yun yung pinrioritize ko. So, dapat talaga today yung three island na pupuntahan. Pero pinamove siya, ginawang Sohoton today because of the weather. Kasi nga, bihira yung bumabiyahe ng Sohoton. Or minsan may schedule, depends on the weather. So, swerte kasi nakapagsuhoton today. So, ayun guys. Mag-prep na ako. So, gonna see you guys in a bit. Bye! Today, naka-schedule yung island tour. Yung sa Naked Island, sa Duyam, tsaka sa... I forgot yung isa. Nandiyan. <laughs> Pero yun. Last night, so, I was able to eat um, at Kermit. Kasama ko yung friend ko. Namin-eat ko ng taga dito na pala. The food is really, really nice. 
kung i-rate ko siya, I would give an 8.5 over 10. Masarap yung pizza, masarap yung carbonara. Okay lang na yung garlic bread. Sakto lang. Parang feeling ko naglak lang ng konti pang butter and garlic or konting ano pa. Pero, overall, um, based, kung i-compare ko Bravo to Kermit, I would go for Kermit. Mas prefer ko yung food choices nila and yung lasa ng pagkain. Um, today, I will try the surprise tattoo. So, ayun. Pero definitely, I will go back here in Siargao. Uh, bitin talaga yung 4 days, 3 nights. As in, guys, kung magsasiargao kayo. Now, now um, I can tell you, kaya pala, ganun na nag-extend lagi yung mga tao or sobrang tagal nila mag-book whenever, I mean, matagal yung duration ng stay nila whenever they book Siargao because you won't be able to do it 3 days or 4 days. Parang kailangan talaga minimum ka of 1 week. Tapos, we went to brew... Ano yun? Basta yung inuwan. <laughs> Lagay ko na lang din dito. So, asa tito na hindi na sanay magpuyat, um, nagpahatid na ako dito sa mazawa ng around quarter to eleven. Kasi antok na antok na ako. Kasi sayang naman. Um, mukhang fun pa naman yung party kagabi. Pero, medyo pagod talaga. Kasi low energy ako kahapon. It seems like there's a good weather today. Anyway, so I'm gonna wait for the um, pick up. Sabi kasi seven. So, kaya nagpa-prepare na ako. So, ayun. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye! Fresh from Lego. <laughs> Grabe yung sunog ko. Anyway, so magkikita kami ng friend ko for sunset sa may bridge. Hindi ko alam kung saan yun specifically. But yun, pupunta muna kami doon. Tapos magdi-dinner kami sa Kermit. Tapos try ko din daanan yung pandekoko, yung sikat ng pandekoko. So, kanina kasi dapat bago bumalik na accommodation. Bibili ako kaso wala pa sila naubusan. So, Ayun, hopefully makabili later para makatikim. Anyway, mamadali na ako kasi nandiyan na siya. So, gonna see you guys later. Bye!
back inside my room. So we went to the bridge, in Palayon. So literal siya na bridge, pero it's perfect for a sunset daw talaga, unfortunately. Hindi namin na witness talaga yung sunset because, because, because it was cloudy. However, mukhang chill spot talaga yun for sunset watching. And then we went to Curvada. And I must say, sa lahat ng kinainan ko, excuse me, Curvada is top tier talaga. Kasi ang sarap ng food. Kita nyo naman dun sa clips. As in, mala. Hands up. Talaga. As in, food, 5 over 5. Ganong level. And then, naghalina ba yun? Yung name ng ice cream. So, we had one. Um, masarap naman yung mismo ice cream. Um, but, Ang pricey pala talaga, ang mahal. 200 yung ice cream na yon Sayang hindi ko na na video kasi gusto ko na na ice cream. So, kinain ko na agad. Pero 200 siya on a huge cone. Tapos, I had a surprise tattoo. So, yung nakikita nyo sa TikTok or even sa other vlog siguro. I was so, so lucky with the design. So... Pretty much sure, nakita nyo naman na on the previous clip. Kasi for sure yun yung pre uh, clip before this one. But, I'm really really happy. So, let's to quickly uh, show you guys. Ayan. Ayan! Tapos nakakatawa, meron akong kasabay doon. Dalawa sila. Yung isa, parang daddy-daddy type siya. Tapos, yun na bunot niya yung squishy na teeth. <laughs> Tawan-tawa kaming lahat doon kasi iniisip niya kung saan niya ipapalagay. So, parang feeling ko, ano, tatak na yun na nakapag-shargao ka kasi nakapag-tattoo ka dito sa shargao. Tapos, wala, it was fun. But, it's just um, 7.27. Um, deserve na rin namin magpahinga. I know my friend. Um, pagod na rin talaga siya and puyat. So... Ayun, instead na nakapagpahinga siya, na hata ko pa siya sa tour kanina. So, ayun, if you're watching this, uh, thank you. So anyway, ngayon, wala akong gagawin kundi mag-rest. I'm ending this day here inside my room. No plans at all, just rest. So, gonna see you guys tomorrow. Good night! Good morning. Last day here in Chargao. Um... Planning to eat breakfast in white beard. Tapos bilhin ng mga souvenir and all. Tapos tatry ko pa rin yung pande ko kasi wala na ako naabutan kagabi. Pero grabe yung sunog ko. Nafe-feel ko na yung half day na mukha ako. Anyway, let's eat breakfast first. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye! food in white beard. Sobrang sulit for um, parang binayarin ko lang 300 plus. Pero sobrang sulit ng food nila. Excuse me. Tapos, tumaan ako na cafe cor corner cafe pala. <laughs> I had um, hazelnut latte. So medyo wala na kasi akong time. Need to prepare. Hindi pa ako naging pahan ng gamit. Tapos it's almost 11. At 12 ako susunduin. So, no more time to do other things. Nakabili na rin ako souvenir. Nakabili na ako ng sticker for my Shargao trip. Na ilalagay ko sa maleta ko. So, ayun. Anyway, I should start packing up my things. So, so far, I really, really had a great time here in Shargao. Definitely, I will be back. Um, natatempt na nga ako bumalik either March or April bitin kasi guys if you are planning to go in Shargao make sure to have at least a minimum of one week stay here cause definitely bitin talaga kayo sa pa 3 nights or 4 nights lang ako sobrang bitin, ang dami ko pang hindi napuntahan, ang dami ko pang hindi na try na kainan as in 
bitin, bitin yung four days, three nights ko. Although, syempre ako, nakaalat lang yun because work. Work pa rin yung iniisip ko. Nevertheless, so yun, I really, really had a great time. Here in Mazawa, sobrang comfy ng place. As in, no doubt. Um, the vibes is like, technically, the whole Siargao trip is sobrang chill vibe, sobrang island vibe. As in, hindi mo feel na parang pumunta ka as a turista kasi people are very friendly if you meet someone you'll be introduced to a lot more so dami mong magiging friends if you stay here longer super super fun ng Siargao definitely um, I would say dati kasi ang ranking ko is Batanes, Palawan, Siargao um, I haven't been to Batanes, but I've been to Palawan in El Nido, and now here in Siargao, I think switch na sila. So first ko for now is Batanes, um, until siguro mapuntan ko siya, then I can compare. But for the rank 2 and 3, it's Siargao and then Palawan. Although I haven't been much into Palawan just yet, but for now, temporarily, yun yung ranking ko for top 3. So... Anyway, haba, ang dami ko na naman ko da. Pero guys, hindi na ako masyado nakapag-vlog. Hindi ako masyado nakapagsalita the whole vlog series ng Siargao ko. Kasi, alam mo yung feeling na gusto mo lang siyang i-feel. Gusto mo lang na i-embrace yung feeling na nandito ka sa Siargao. You take the best moment you can na without thinking of anything hindi mo kailangan totally mag-post hindi mo totally kailangan mag-video or mag-vlog or what not but at least I tried my best to give you as much information that you can while you're planning pa lang to go here in Siargao I have friends who are start who start ano ba na nag-start na mag-ask ng, ano, ng tips and um, tayo dito mga recommendations here in Siargao so, sabi ko, antayin nyo yung vlog ko kasi doon nyo makikita talaga. And, ayun. Anyway, I hope you guys may share, hope you guys like my Shargao trip or my Shargao vlog. And I hope marami kayo information din na nakuha kahit pa paano. So, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you would be notified on my next vlog. So, for now, hindi ko na alam kung saan ako susunod na travel but I'm gonna see you guys soon. Bye!